Hello from Dendrite Digital in Anaheim. Makers of the Virtue Data Processor. And Zipbit, the website that shows you how to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I have uh, improved on my, my program, my simulation of the Atari 130XE. Uh, you can see here, uh, it's looking for C, it's loading CH and comparing it to FF. And up here it's set CH to FF. And if we come down to the bottom here, you can see that it's looking for a keyboard code. And I'm going to show you how to get to this point. How to get to this point of looking for a key code uh, from boot up. So let me uh, refresh the page. And uh, let's start out with uh, a reasonable pace. So that's the uh, basic cartridge that uh, is in ROM. And now it's going uh, every 4,096 bytes and checking if it's uh, got memory. You can see this uh, number here is counting up. It's at five, now six. Now seven, it'll get to nine, and then it will hit the uh, basic cartridge again at A. And uh, here it comes. So it hit the basic cartridge at A, and now it's uh, going through the hardware registers and zeroing them out. And it'll do this all the way up to 2DFF. So let me speed it up. So uh, it completed to 2 2DFF, 24FF, and 20FF. Clear those all out. And now it's clearing out the uh, zero page. It's empty anyway, so let's speed it up a little bit more, see how this progresses. Uh, let's try. You can see here that uh, I have a store in 04 and uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this address is 0 right now. But when it gets up to uh, 1, let's uh, speed it up here. D E F four control five. So there it is. It changed uh, the O five to one, and now it's uh, writing page one. And this will continue until this one equals A zero. And uh, we can just show that happening really fast. That was control zero. So two, three, you can see here, three. Now what I can do down here, is I have a little command line I can play with. Hold on. 
Yeah, well, that's character zero. I have two character sets here that I'm playing with. I can change uh, the slow. Slow it down. And if uh, if we just change the zero A to A zero, it's not going to work right, but. So we want to change address zero 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 five to nine F. So now you can see over here that it's writing to nine F nine D, and that's the Y right there. So use my handy dandy command line. I can change the y to f let's try uh eight that's nine a b c d e F and now it wraps around to zero and it drops through. So that's the DOS vector. Hmm. Here it's writing a uh, display list. Uh, VDS list. So, uh, video display list. Where is that? I think that's an OS. Oh, yeah, here. Video d display list interrupt vector. So it might be a, a display list interrupt, uh, a uh, handling uh, interrupt routine. And it's just writing that out to, to, uh, to uh, page two. So here's page zero, page two. This is page one, which is the stack, and page two is about the first place that you can uh, start uh, putting your own code in, and that's precisely what it's doing here, yeah, about down here. As soon as uh, X. Goes to negative three, two, one, zero, and then negative FF. There's the character code. So it's looking for a key. I was doing other stuff too. Got this list of jump to subroutines that it keeps popping up with. Let's slow it down. That was control seven. Oh. 
So it's kind of caught in this loop here. So it's fast. Oh. So it hit control, which I have uh, a uh, break point. When it tries to uh, load control, it stops the playback. And uh, looks like it jumped ahead a couple, couple uh, lines. try stepping through it. This is control space. So, control four. Compare Y. So it's decrementing them. Um, no, it's incrementing X and Y. Comparing Y to C. And there it goes. So it's doing all sorts of interesting things. I can't pretend to comprehend it all. There's the CH base and the uh, character art and the SMD control, SDM control, and the poke mask and IRQ enable. And color zero. So it's poking in the uh, color palette. See G prior popping up. Oh, we've gone through this uh, loop a few times. Let me speed it up. There's control one. So now it's looking at V count. And if we look at the address for V count. It's D40B. So it's comparing V count with 7A. So one more time. V count is D408. 
So if we go D408 and we poke in a 7A and see over here on my right list D408 7A and if we control space gotta hit that return I thought it, I thought it worked probably it's not working Maybe I have the wrong address. Oh, D40B. There we go. Right now, all there is is a 6502 of the basic cartridge and the OS ROM. And uh, no uh, GTIA, no Antic, no Pokey. Just a lonely 6502. So none of these uh, hardware registers do anything except hold a value. I have to manually poke them in. So let me uh, let it run. And again, I don't know all the stuff it's doing. It's just running through it all. You can see the source code. Or not the source code, but uh, labeled, somewhat labeled hardware registers, operating system stuff. Huh. Quite a monster. So, um, what do we got here? Yeah, we're going through a loop. Seems to be writing uh, values here and there. Huh. And speed it up some. Uh, something's different. <laughs> it's writing zeros to nine C nine D. Probably go all the way to 9F, F, F. Oh, ran into the basic cartridge and tried to write. Control three.
gets to see their C dropped out. Mm. Sorry for that. Gotta bring in the trash barrels. Five thirty on Tuesday. So this is going to go a while. Gonna hit zero pretty soon. So it incremented Y. So if we let this run. Five, six, it's got to go all the way to eight O. Oh. So down here on my command line. Y, let's stop it. Y equals seven A. And X about seven E. Let's, uh, let's just change X to 7E, too. I'll go... Looks like X needs to be FE. Seven F do the branch on plus. It's not positive, so it's going to drop through to the JSR. That's going to go a while. C, D. It's going to go all the way to zero. I guess it loaded it with F. It's starting again. So, oh wait, this has got console in it. Let me uh, go fast. Oh, 
this is that trade trading back and forth between console and console so it's it it would do this for quite a while I it's checking to see if if you've got the console button pushed or maybe it's just clicking the speaker see console console is uh right here and it's clicking the speaker that sound that Atari makes before it comes online and then uh, so it's clicking the speaker Let's see we're storing FF to the console I was just clicking the speaker. So, programming here what if what if we look at these uh, branches see this is fo69 it goes there fo71 it goes there fo60 goes up there fo87 well that's something new fo87 JSR. Why don't we go there? <laughs> so program counter equals F O eight seven. Mm, <laughs> so there's the JSR and there's CH load A with CH See just just flashing the accumulator and the and the program counter I will do that forever until the key push so what's going to happen if we put in a key for CH? So down here, CH, let's put the character A in CH. What is that? Uh, 41 in hex, 65 in decimal. So 2FC, 0, 2FC. And 41. We can confirm that 2FC has 41 in it. And then it's not equal. So it stores it in 7C. Mode X with FF. Store X and CH. Checking the console. Waiting for horizontal sync. Decrement X. Branch on plus. So X is just going to count down. C 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, FF. So, there's three decrements at a time. That should go a little faster. Twelve, eleven, F, E, C, nine, six, Three, two, and this should do it. Now it's looking at two, two, A. I have no idea what that is. Hmm, and that's all it's doing is just loading A with 22A. Hmm. What is 22A? Oh, I need to change it to zero, zero. And right now it looks like it's three. So we typed A. <laughs> so I don't know how long is this video going? It's been been quite a while. I only have a small memory in my MacBook Air. There's another stop, stopped mechanism, three, one, seven. Looks like there's a one in three, one, seven. So you need to put in the uh, three one seven zero zero. There's recount again. Here's another recount. Uh, Fran. D two zero F. Now we're comparing it to three one six. So we need to change Fran and Fran. D20F. So D20F. 
Looks like we need a, a one. Well, since this isn't isn't a, we need to match this with uh, whatever's coming out of this and, and that's coming out of. Let's slow it. Let's stop it. And, okay, so what's in A now is zero. So I think what I want to do is put a 1 0 in it. Space bar. Then it went back. So we decremented Y. Looks like we need to change Fran to 102. So was it D20F has a 10 in it? Decremented Y, didn't we? Now, what does 316 have? Mess. I don't know what to do with this. So when we get to this BMI decrement X branch on not equal decrement decrement Y. So what if we stick Y equals Zero one, and then uh, and then uh, what? It's equal, so we need to put in a five in this, a uh, two five status register two five. So it's not equal. So there's that decrement y. It's equal. Decrement that. Load A with V count. So we're on our way. An adventure in exploring Atari OS with a 6502 emulator. Is that the same spot where we were?
let's go ahead and change it anything. That looks like the same spot where we were. Looks like what I want to get to is right here. So if we put it into the program counter, the address of this instruction, we might progress. ED six F. There's that 317 again. Speed it up, see if we can see anything here. No, just A and program counter is changing. So what if we uh, put into the program counter this RTS? Mask our Q enable. There's an audio control. Audio control one. Let's just get this over with here. Clearing out a page of a zero page here. Quite a few commands for for just a key press. <laughs> B A nine eight seven six five four three two one zero. Likes page nine and page two. Uh, 
Complex subject here. So we typed in the A. Maybe I need a breakpoint at CH when it when it loads from CH. Well, yeah, that was episode four of Atari 8-bit OS boot sequence. Thank you for watching.